who'll win at the Grammys, and who should Adele and Beyonce have racked up plenty of nominations, but prepare for some surprises. The 65th Grammy Awards, which air Sunday night on CBS, haven't quite solved the problem of music's sprawl, but the slate of nominations and performers signifies that the Recording Academy, which puts the show on every year, has been trying to chip away at it. Nominees include heavy hitters like Beyoncé and Adele as well as up-and-comers like Wet Leg and Muni Long. The awards also include a new Songwriter of the Year category, a long overdue nod to the behind-the-scenes people who help make pop great. While there are some nominations and categories that remain baffling, the pigeonholing of the Spanish belter Rosalia's wild, thrilling moto mommy into the Latin rock or alternative category, the Goldwatch Best Rock Performance nomination for Beck's Neil Young cover, there aren't many utter missteps, which is itself a marked improvement over the ceremonies of a decade or two ago. As of press time, Sunday's telecast, the biggest platform for popular music after the Super Bowl, had announced a tribute to the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, first given Grammy consideration in 1989, featuring LL Cool J, Big Boy, Busta Rhymes, DJ Jazzy Jeff. The Roots, and a slew of other big names, as well as an in memoriam segment will feature tributes to Fleetwood Mac's Christine McVie, Migos's Takeoff, and country legend Loretta Lynn. Meanwhile, announced performers include the Puerto Rican mogul Bad Bunny, the glam pop multi hyphenate Harry Styles, and the Americana powerhouse Brandy Carlisle. One would think that other top nomination getters, like Beyonce, 9, Kendrick Lamar, 8, and Adele, 7, Tying Carlisle, would be added to that list, although the unpredictability of the 2023 music business, not to mention the constraints placed upon any awards show by television, makes no assumption safe.